first of all, Godfather is a little bit of a sort of a pri privileged title, I think. Yeah, it's. Um, I never think of it as that way. I put a lot of effort into trying to make sure that motorsport is successful as a business in South Africa, and and that's very important to make sure all all of the the recipes for success are there from having the rules right to make sure that companies, not only ourselves, but within South Africa, are able to compete. I mean, it's not my responsibility, but I want to think that we help everybody where we can to set up this industry and maintain its momentum. The more people we've got making motorsport-related items, bespoke components, shall we say, the more independent we are from the rest of the world, and hopefully the industry will grow. and other companies will be able to export like we're privileged to be able to do. Well, being a driver through those years and being able to operate with some of the best drivers in the world, I mean, you know, Cyril van der Merwe was my teammate at the time and Jeff Mortimer, and Jeff ran the business and drove, so I had a really good insight into what it was. And a great friend of mine, Tony Pond, used to drive over here in South Africa. He was the reason I came to South Africa and uh, he was one of Britain's best drivers and probably still is historically. And so I had a great insight as to how these great drivers think and having driven I'd experienced it. So that gives me an eye to, to pick out drivers and uh, help them along the way and try and work with them because it's not just one aspect, it's not the physical aspect of turning the steering wheel and, and reactions, it's the whole thought process which goes on behind the scenes which makes a great driver. Um, so from what, that side I understand the driving and then from the engineering side I understand what the driver needs and requires from the car. The car is only a tool uh, to do that and um, so that, that gives me a great ability to be able to connect the two together and I like working with people, I, I like people and um, so if you don't have people, people are our business. You know, We can have all the best machines in the world, we can have the best cast CAD packages, the fastest computers, but if we don't have the right people, we can't do anything. So uh, we've got a great team. And uh, last year I learned a new word, actually, that team means together everybody achieves more. And that's what it is, and that's how we work. And our philosophy within the company is, if we don't learn something new every day, me included, then it's really been a bad day, disappointing day. So we must all learn something. It doesn't matter what it is. We must learn something, move forward. Well, that's easy, isn't it, actually? Because having finished third, which was unbelievable last year, Junior did a fantastic job. The team did an incredible job to have that car. We had literally no troubles which slowed us down on the race. We have to do better. So that's an easy answer. If we do better, we'll be doing well. And I think that's our target, to do better than last year, there's a lot of other people and a lot of other great teams from all over the world competing against us and uh, I think South Africa has the resource to do it and I'd really, um, really like to go in there and see what we can do with a South African driver and a South African team. It would be great to win the event. We're not going there with the idea purely just to win it because you can't say that. Ferrari wanted to win the World Championship for 21 years and they couldn't do it and they had an awful lot more resources than we've had available to us. So we'll do our best, like we did last year, and uh, we've all, Janil's been training hard, Duncan has, Rob has, Dirk has, we've got all the ingredients to, to do a better job than we did last year and if we do that, we'll have achieved something great.